Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, July 24th. I am sitting in my car on my lunch break. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I haven't filmed in a while. Um, I know I haven't been as consistent as I want to be with the filming. Work's been a little bit crazy, but I don't want to have that as an excuse um, anymore. I know that consistency is key um, in order to be successful, so I am going to try to stay to a consistent upload schedule. So I'm super tired today. Yesterday we went to a wedding and it was really fun. Um, especially because it wasn't my wedding, so I actually got to sit back and relax and enjoy the night. But it was a really nice wedding. Um, Hector's uncle got married. But yeah, so again, I'm just on my lunch break, just chilling in my car. I didn't want to go hang out in the break room because I just, no, I didn't want to. But yeah, um, so what's been going on in my life? I wanted to kind of start a diet not really a diet, but kind of like more of a lifestyle change. Um, so backstory to my weight, I've been fluctuating up and down with my weight for years and years now. Um, I'll get really into, you know, what I'm putting into my body and working out and staying consistent. I'll lose the weight that I want to lose. Then I get comfortable and start eating junk food again and then gain the weight back. It's been like up and down like I said for years now probably since 2012 2011 I can't even I don't even know um I feel really winded right now I don't know maybe I'm getting nervous because I'm feel I'm filming but um yeah so my weight's been up and down so I was telling Hector like I don't know how to stay motivated like even for my own wedding we started like a low carb diet, which I never have done before. Um, and we were consistent for a while, but then we fell off and <laughs> right before the wedding, we gained a lot of weight back. Um, so I'm like, okay, if I can't even stay motivated for my own wedding, like what's gonna get me motivated? So I thought um, I would film this video and kind of use my channel to keep me motivated. So basically we're gonna set a goal. We're not gonna start yet. Probably on August 1st we're gonna start and kind of get all the, the junk out of our system. And um, I'm just gonna go back to what I know, which is portion control. And um, you know, lower fat and lower calories. But I know everybody has their say so on what's healthy, what's not. And I just know I went to a nutritionist, like I said, back in 2011 and they kind of put me on a plan that worked for me. I'm short, so I'm 5'1", and my weight right now is, you know, kind of high. I don't want to be this weight. Um, I'll disclose it with you guys. I weigh 150 pounds, and my heaviest is probably like 160 or 163, and I remember weighing that and just breaking down, crying, just crying because I'm like, I'm way too short. I felt like crap. Like I look like a little Oompa Loompa and it was just not healthy. You know, I know that there's so much like body positivity posts and embrace who you are, this, that, and the other. But if you feel like crap, like you don't, it's not good. You know what I mean? I can say like somebody can look at me and be like, Danielle, you're not even overweight or you're fine. You're perfect the way you are. But I know what I'm putting in my body and I don't feel healthy. So I kind of want to just change what I'm putting into my body so I can feel better. Like I don't want to feel winded just by having a conversation like I am right now. But again, I think that is nerves too. But I don't know. So basically, like I said, I've been going through this journey up and down for years and I get down to a goal. Like when I graduated college two and a half years ago, I was my smallest since high school. I weighed 120, like 122, somewhere in there. Like when I graduated college and I moved back to California, I moved home, got comfortable, you know, gained 15 pounds, lost it, gained, you know, like back and forth, back and forth. Even up until last year, I had got down to like 130, 135 but like I felt good. I was going to my workout classes. I was eating better. Like I felt good. Like who cares like what the number says on the scale. Like it's how I internally felt. My skin was like glowing. And um, 
I don't know, me and Hector, like, we started putting each other first, and so I started putting my gym and the fitness on the back burner because we were, like, doing the long distance thing, not long distance, but he was commuting to come see me because we live, like, 80 miles away from each other, and he would come see me, so usually my schedule was after work, go to the gym. Well, I didn't really have time for that when he was on his way to come see me because I didn't want him just sitting around. Um, so I kind of let my fitness and my health, you know, go on the back burner. We got comfortable, which people do when they're in relationships. All you do is go out to eat. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, you know, get back on track. We have a lot of weddings to go to this year. We still have three more. We went to one yesterday. We still have three more. We're going on a cruise in a couple months, like, and I just want to feel better. I want to look better. I want to feel better. I want my clothes to fit me comfortably. I don't want to go buy a bigger size. And um, I want to use my channel to keep me motivated so you guys can hold me accountable if I'm not sticking to what I'm saying because I am a person of my word and I don't want to go back on it. So I want to make it a lifestyle change. It can't just be like, oh, I'm going to be on a diet for this to get to this goal. Because once I get to that goal, I always, you know, fall short. And I start going back, reverting to my old habits. So it really does have to be a lifestyle. Um, and I know at the beginning it is a little bit harder, you know, like you have to be more strict on yourself, on what you're inputting um, to your body. And then once I do get down to my goal weight, as long as I stay consistent, then it's not going to be like as strict as long as I continue to work out and eat well for the majority of the time. But yeah, I can't be eating like what I just ate right now, Taco Bell, chalupas, <laughs> and a Dr. Pepper. Like that's just not going to fly. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on in my life right now is just coming up with a plan to go on a diet because it's so hard. And... I'm just working, honestly. Um, I'm kind of, I don't want to talk bad about my job, excuse me, but I paid so much money for my college education and I'm not even working in a field that my degree is in. Um, I got my, I double majored in psychology and child learning and development and I'm working in like the finance industry, we do loans. Um, and it's not, it's not what I do that's not making me happy. It's just financially, like I have adult bills and I just feel like financially this job's just not cutting it anymore. So I am on the hunt for another job. I hope nobody from my work sees this, but maybe I asked for a raise. I haven't got a raise in three years and they basically gave me some runaround answer. And it's just like, I feel like I'm, a really good employee like for the district manager to even say yes you're one of my top employees but not give me a raise that's not cool and then I also thought it was kind of messed up because I moved so now I'm commuting to work and I had requested a transfer back in January and they had told me well if you want to transfer just wait a little bit because your branch is not staffed and once it's staffed we'll give you a transfer well, so many months had went by and instead of gaining employees, we lost employees. So I was a little bit upset when I called HR and they told me, you don't have to wait for your branch to get staffed. If you see a position, you just apply to it. So that was pretty upsetting too. So the company I work for is not a bad company. It's just, I feel like I've outgrown it already. And if they're not gonna, you know, meet my needs, then I need to move on. But yeah, besides all of that, <laughs> married life is good. I don't feel like anything's really changed because we did move in together a couple months ago. So that's all the same, but it is nice being Mrs. I still have to go officially change my last name, which haven't, hasn't been done yet. But yeah, my lunch is coming to a close, but I did want to keep you guys updated and I promise I'm going to be more consistent. I'm going to come up with an upload schedule so at least one video a week I think probably on Mondays um, for now but yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later bye